Ultimate Headquarters on the beautiful far south coast of New South Wales. And I'm here with Daryl. How are you, mate? Good, thanks, Graham. How are you? I'm very well, champ. Mate, tell me, what on earth is this thing? Graham, this is the Ultimate Elite, the best off-road camper on the market. Best, mate. That is a huge call. Can we put it through its paces before we set it up? Absolutely. And Graham, have I got a track just for you? Dead keen, champ. Let's get into no it. No worries. How was that track, Graham? Mate, superb track. And that's your backyard? Absolutely. We're very lucky down here. You're very lucky, mate. But tell me something. This thing, to me, looks like a spaceship, not a camper trailer. How on earth do you set it up? Look, the beautiful thing about an Ultimate, Graham, there's three ways you can set this up. You can do an overnight stay, a mid-term stay, and for a hunter, fisherman like you, a long-term stay. Mate, what's the chances you can show me how you do an overnighter? Mate, let's do it right away. Get into it. No worries. How was that, Graham? Three and a half minutes and not a tent pole, a tent peg or a guy rope in sight. How easy does it get? Mate, very impressed with that. So that's the overnight stay? Yep. So you've got another stage after this? If you want to stay a little bit longer. You set this up for what, a couple of days stay? Yeah, if you're staying somewhere for two or three days, you'd put this under bed annex up. It just Velcro's on, takes a couple of minutes. Great place to get out of the sun. If it's raining, you can even have your lunch under there. Hey, listen, I've seen the overnight setup and I've now seen the moderate setup, but you keep talking about this long-term setup. How about you show me that next? Yeah, Daryl, I can see what you're talking about. That really does add a whole whack of extra room outside. Oh, it's fantastic for a long-term stay. And the beautiful thing is, as you saw, 15 minutes and it's set up. Yeah, it didn't take you much longer than that. It looks great from outside, but tell me, what's inside? Oh, look, you're going to be really surprised when you have a look inside. In that little thing there? Absolutely. This area looked a lot smaller, but you get in here, and not only is it fully functional, like you say, fully featured, but it really is quite spacious. Absolutely. I mean, you've got a full galley kitchen, wraparound lounge, and king size bed mate. So your bed in your camper trailer is bigger than the bed I've got at home. We always say when you go bush mate you should be comfortable. Stereo unit down here, two burner stove here running on gas obviously. Yep. Behind me there's a sink, big sink too. You've got plenty of bench space, nine drawers. It's just here. Right, just there. Yeah nine litre fridge freezer, um, three way so yeah, when you do set up camp you turn it on, well it's a smart fridge so it turns itself on the gas. I can't believe how much room you packed into this little tiny thing. But when you open it up, it's got the spaciousness of a mid-sized caravan. It has. It's a lightweight camper, so any vehicle can really tow it. It is designed for off-road, so we've got Subarus, X-Trails, 200 series Land Cruisers, you name it, everyone's towing these around. Of course, where you take it is only limited by the tow vehicle and the capability of the driver. Reversing light? Yep. What's this little hatch here, mate? Okay, this is where we actually keep the uh, old porta potty Oh, yeah. And uh, an important item when you're out in the bush, Shower. A nice shower. Hot, hot and cold running water. Hot shower, yeah, right. Another compartment here, mate. Yeah, mate, this is just a gas locker. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got a 9 kg gas bottle, 3.3 kg backup, or for other appliances like a barbecue or whatever. It's all dust sealed, I see. It is, yeah. Over there, you got your battery locker. There's only one in there at the moment, mate. You can put two in if yeah, you want. Yeah, absolutely. Dual batteries and a larger uh, charger as well. Yeah, right. And here, finally, yeah. the piece of the resistance. What do you got? Look at that. <laughs> is that a wine cellar? That's a wine cellar, mate. Just because you're out in the bush doesn't mean you can't have a few luxuries. I've seen everything now. A wine cellar in a Mate. camper trailer. Now that is what I call storage. Mate, one of the other things Ultimates are famous for are their lightweight. Mate, just lift that up and feel how light it is. Can we lift the camper trailer up? Absolutely. Have you seen the size of me? Mate, not a problem at all. I've got little old ladies that can do it. Crikey, well there's a challenge, isn't it? Hey, 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 hey! And mate, don't be fooled, when you're off-road, weight is everything. Yeah, it is, it but is. But more importantly, weight sitting on a bulletproof suspension. You've got stone guards on each of your bolts. Absolutely, mate. Well, this is the engine room. You know, this is what you've really got to build uh, to its full strength. And, and we've, we've done that. It's proven over 16 years. Daryl, an impressive camper trailer in anyone's language, mate. She's nice and compact when you pack her away, but open her up and she's like the TARDIS from Doctor Who. There's mobs of room in there, mate. Uh, we're very proud of it, but thank you for your kind words, and uh, when you want to order one, you know where to come. Mate, if people want to know more about it, you got a website they can go to? Absolutely. It's www.ultimatecampers.com.au. Brilliant, Daryl. Thank you very much, mate. My pleasure. Welcome anytime. Good on you, champ.